Mm, no, nah, I don't. This year, yes. Last year and the years before that, no. God, no. I do not, if I'm honest. Sometimes. Uh, I wouldn't say in my own skin, but in my uh, mind, yes. This year, it's not. It's it's actually not that bad. I, I can look at myself in the mirror, but I remember, I think it was maybe two years ago. Um, I would actively avoid looking at myself in the mirror for a long time. I would like cover up with like a blanket and everything. It was it was wild. <laughs> You're done. I'm like, I perceive myself as someone different, and it's kind of weird because every time I look at me reflection, I feel like that's kind of not me. But yeah, or I forget that that's me makes me feel like insecure on how I look. Um, for me, I really care about how people think about me, like that's just the type of person I am. So like whenever like I hear something like bad about myself, it like really like kind of puts me down. Um, comments affected me a lot when I was growing up because um, I guess I have a lot of hair, and so like people would tell me that, and like just like little things they would tell me, pretty much affected like my whole life. It it used to affect me not all that much. It was more just how I thought of myself and thinking how I'm supposed to live up to it, how I'm supposed to live up to how someone looks. But um, yeah, no, it doesn't. I don't think anyone telling me how I. How I feel, how I look really matters, but how I tell myself how I feel matters the most to me. If that makes sense. It's affected me a lot, you know? It's uh, back in uh, freshman year. It made me motivated to train myself, and I did. Uh, I lost a lot of weight that year. And uh, so, yeah, when it, you know, it hurts sometimes when people are making fun of you. I know this one's kind of silly, but like, just don't care, like, if that makes sense. Because I remember I read this in a book somewhere where it was the thing you might be worried about or you feel kind of like nervous about. Everyone that is around you could care less. Um, so say I was like performing at a band thing, a band performance, and I was really nervous and I was like thinking about like, oh, how's my parents going to react? How am I going to react? They're, they couldn't, they're not thinking about that right now. They're thinking about what they're gonna have for dinner tonight or what they're, they're gonna be thinking about what they're gonna wear tomorrow. They're not thinking, actively thinking about me. They're thinking about something else and that's what, how I should be thinking about. That everything's gonna be okay. I wish that someone would tell me that people are gonna tell you stuff about yourself that like you notice and you feel, you feel insecure about but it honestly doesn't matter as long as you feel confident with yourself and you love yourself. I wish people told me to just be confident, you know? I don't know if people tell kids that much to just be themselves because, you know, they're kids. But, uh, you know, confidence is key to success. So if people told me that I should be confident in myself, I think I would have grew up a lot better. I got rid of all the negativity. I think just being able to look at yourself and be happy with who you are and what you look like and obviously you're gonna have some flaws but being able to point out what's the best thing about you and your personality. Just like looking in a mirror and being happy with what you see or just being like content with anything that you put on. Looks like uh Again, being confident, you know, people don't affect you at all or very little and uh, you know, you know that you can change whenever and you know that you're in control of yourself. I do, even if I, you know, wish there's parts of me that were better, I still gotta love myself, you know. I have to be that way because, you know, I think that's how I want to live. And I, even if I, there's things I want to change, I know I can always change it. 
So the, I just gotta love myself and I could always get better. Some days. I do. Yes. Now I do. We asked students if they felt comfortable in their own skin, if they loved themselves. And now we're asking you, why? Why do we second guess ourselves? Why do we try? To be accepted, to be beautiful. You already are. You're not alone. You're enough. You're beautiful. And everything's gonna be okay. So go ahead, take a breath. Remember what it's like to just be. And love yourself.